India is officially on the moon. The Vikram lander has done its share. Now the question arises, well, what's next? How the India's moon mission will help the country and the world is one of the main questions. Listen in from the moon man of India himself, the former director of ISRO Satellite Center. Lunar's dust shape and satellite has been verified uh, uh, by the lander cameras, which is kept outside the lander. So then I think the ground command uh, will go uh, to open the panel in which uh, our the pregnant has been mounted. So once it is coming out, then it will, there is a, some fire activity, so the, which is mechanically attached to the uh, lander panel. The pregnan will uh, to come out. That uh, pyro will open, cut it, and then it will, it will roll down because it's a powered uh, six-wheel powered uh, motors will enable the uh, pregnan to come down. And while coming down, any go the solar panel also it will try to open its own solar panel pregnan. So you have been a holder configuration. So the whole thing, I think, we will able to uh, visualize. Not only visualize, we will able to take a video of the whole thing by the mother craft lander. Uh, as it's rolling down, uh, but uh, when it's uh, rolling down, after rolling down, when it touches the lunar surface, I think that is the excitement uh, will come. Uh, like Armstrong landed and his foot uh, footprint is imprinted on the lunar surface. I think something similar uh, with the lunar rover moving some few meters away, uh, and the lunar so-called sonar lunar recolith, that is the lunar soil, which will have been a powdered condition. In that, uh, when the wheels keep moving, uh, two of the wheels uh, having the uh, one of the wheel having a uh, Indian emblem with the uh, four lines, probably these three faces of the line we will able to see. And another one is uh, our uh, emblem of ISRO, we will see, uh, making uh, India made uh, the system is uh, moving into the North Sahel, which has not been explored as on today by anybody. So that will be a moment of rejoice for the whole of India. I foresee 14 days uh, from the first day of the landing on the 23rd all the way. Uh, 14 days uh, sunlight and the landing place is made available. So that will be used for the uh, operation of the lander as well as the rover. But 14th day when the sunlight is going to set, I think there will be some preparatory maneuvers though it is documented uh, well. Uh, uh, I think somewhere uh, slightly uh, uh, Chairman Isro has indicated uh, that means uh, the both the lander and the rover, uh, some preparatory maneuvers will be done, uh, switching off the, all the instruments and uh, trying to put them in the safe mode, even on the lone uh, rover, uh, trying to fold the solar uh, uh, panel uh, such that it is trying to see whether it can live through. For example, when cold comes, we will cover ourselves uh, with the sweaters, coats, uh, something like that. So that the long lunar night, uh, 14 days uh, uh, without power, without sunlight, it may be cold, whether it can live through that, some experiment is planned. But next day, that means after 14 days of night, uh, when the sunlight is coming, we have everything getting warmed, uh, naturally getting, getting warmed by the sunlight, by the uh, sunbathing of the lander and the pregnant is concerned. So after that, possibly at the end of the first, first, first day, uh, there is something called a wake up circuit. So when, when it is going, there is some sleep circuit will make everything to sleep such so that Everything is uh, trying to preserve with the off condition. Electronics off condition can live for a, you can sustain for a longer duration, uh, the, the, even if the cold temperature. So that I think when it comes out, it's getting heated up. I think there will be an attempt to power on. Uh, if like Mangalyan, you are able to uh, able to live through that uh, eclipse, I think definitely uh, we will we will have uh, some more uh, uh, life for the pregnant.